solve the first problem in the high strength friction grip bolt. Uh, let me read the problem. Two plates are connected by a double cover per joint with a 20 mm diameter high strength friction grip 8.8 grade bolts as shown in figure. Calculate the design strength of the bolts. If slip resistance is designated at service load, second part is slip resistance is designated at ultimate load. Assume that fasteners are in clearance holes, take the friction as coefficient of friction as 0 0.3. So, in this problem they have joined the two plates by using a double bolted double cover board joint. They used 6 bolts to make the connections with the diameter of 20 mm and 8.8 grade. They also in this they asked to find the design strength of the bolts. So, we have first we have to calculate the strength of the one bolt. We are having six bolts. So, multiply with will six will give the design strength of the six bolts not joined. If it is joined means we have to add the strength of the plate also. First we will solve the first part of the problem. Design strength of one bolt VDSF equal to mu f into N e into K h into capital F naught divided by gamma f of M f. This formula is available in page number 76 class 10.4.3. Let me go to that page. Class 10.4 handles the friction grip type bolting. The slip resistance can be calculated by using the relationship VDSF. VDSF equal to VNSF by gamma F. VNSF have a different formula. I will directly write as VDSF equal to mu F N E K H F naught by gamma M F. Where gamma M F is first we will see what is meant by 1 by 1. Mu is the coefficient of friction that is the slip factor as specified in table 20. So, here they can directly provided the value coefficient of friction as 0 0.3. So, we can use that value that N E. N E is the number of effective interfaces offering friction resistance to slip. N E. Here mu f is 0 0.3 given N E equal to 2 because it is a double cover but joint. See the frictional resistance is developed between the plate and top cover plate as well as plate and bottom cover plate. We have a two interfaces uh, to offer a frictional resistance. Therefore, N E is equal to 2. Then coming to K H, what is mean by K H as per the code? K H equal to 1 for fasteners in clearance holes, 0.85 for fasteners in oversized and short slotted holes, 0.7 for fasteners in long slotted holes. In our case, they can they have directly given that fasteners are in the clearance hole. Therefore, K H equal to 1. Then coming to mu f, mu, mu f have a two different values depending upon the slip resistance designations. Mu f equal to 1.1 if slip resistance is designated at service load. Mu f equal to 1.25 if slip resistance is designated at ultimate load. Coming to our problem. In our problem, KCA they have given that slip resistance is designated at service load. So, for first case, we have to use a mu f value equal to 1.1. In the second case, they have given that slip resistance is designated at ultimate load. Therefore, for second case, we have to use mu f mu gamma m of value equal to 1.25. That is the only difference between these two cases. So, then coming to the next term in the, the formula is capital F naught. Capital F naught is the proof tension, proof load or pretension. How we can get that F naught value? minimum bolt tension or proof load equal to A and B into F naught. A and B is the net area of the bolt at thread that can be obtained by 0 0.78 into pi d squared by 4 where D is the nominal diameter of the bolt. Okay. Small F naught is the proof stress value 
that can be obtained by 0 0.7 into FUB. FUB is the ultimate tensile capacity of the bolt. In our problem, we are using a 8.8 .8 grade bolt. Therefore, ultimate tensile capacity of the bolt is 800. In the problem, in this problem, they have directly given the diameter of the bolt as 20 mm. So, capital F naught equal to A and B. Net area of the bolt 0 0.7 into pi d squared by 4, where diameter of the bolt is 20 mm. Small f naught is equal to 0 0.7 into F u b. Here, uh, 8 point grade 8 uh, bolts are used. Therefore, F u b is 800. So, multiplying these things, we can get the capital F naught value as 1371.55.2 Newton. Now, we know all the values in the expression. Substitute 1 by 1. Mu f is equal to 0 0.3. N e is the number of interfaces 2, K h is for standard clearance hole 1, F naught is calculated value, you can substitute that one. Then gamma M f is 1.1 for K c a. To convert into a kilo newton, I am dividing this value by 10 power 3. I got the answer as 74.81 kilo newton. This is the design strength of the one bolt this joint have a six bolts you can consider only the bolts on the number of bolts on the either side of the plate so we have a six bolts so we can calculate the design strength of the bolts that is for six bolts six into 74.81 gives the total strength of the bolts as 448.86 kilo newton the case a is over next coming to the case b for case b they have given that Slip resistance is designated at ultimate load. If the slip resistance is designated at ultimate load, means gamma MF value is equal to 1.25. If slip resistance is designated at ultimate load. So, the rest of the things are same to the case A. So, I will substitute all the values similar to the case A except gamma m f gamma m f is 1.25 that is in the denominator so v d s p v d s f that is the slip resistance or shear resistance for one bolt is 65.83 kilo newton so total design strength of the bolts here this joint is having six bolts therefore 6 into 65.83 gives the 394.99 kilo newton this is the total strength of the 